Hi friends, my name is Femi Biwaye. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install Composer. Composer is a dependency management tool for PHP project. It allows you to declare the libraries your project requires and install or update them for you. So to get to your Composer, we'll go to Composer official website, which is getcomposer.org and we'll go to download. And in case you want to read the documentation, you can as well access the documentation on the official website. So let's go to the download page. So there are two methods we can use to download Composer in this project. First method is using command line, and the second method is to download the file itself. So let's make use of the first method. So we'll copy all of this. And also note something. It says warning, please do not redistribute the install code. It will change with every version of the install installer. Instead, please link to this page or check how to install Composer programmatically. So that means this code is not only static. Because it works today does not mean it's going to work in probably next three months like that. So it's best you share this link so in order for people to come to this page to see the latest, latest version and download it. So I'll, I've copied this my code. I've copied this code and this is my project. I will open my terminal from this place. But if you are not using PHP Storm, um, you might need to go to your command line. So I will show us how we can install it from this place. So make sure that your directory is pointed to where your project is. As a matter of fact, you can reuse your composer anywhere in different projects. So let's check the current uh, directory in which we have. <clears throat> we are currently in applications, XAMPP, uh, XAMPP files, htdocs, g advanced, and which is in the directory of this place, which is this directory here, this uh, folder. But in case you are using Windows, probably you see C, um, XAMPP, um, htdocs, then your project uh, folder. In that case, now make sure you are on the directory in which you want to make it of a project. So I will paste the code I copied from Composer website. It will automatically download for us. So our Composer has been downloaded, which is Composer file and composer I think setup. So these two files are downloaded from composer website. These are the two files we just got from the website. So this is one method of downloading composer. The second method of downloading composer is automatically downloading it, which is we have a series of versions in case you have a particular version for a particular reason you want to install it for. You can just select the version you want and download. Else you can select the latest snapshot. Once we click on this, automatically the composer is going to be downloaded for us. So this is how you store your composer, or this is how you download your composer. So see you in our next tutorial.